Well, hello there, folks. This is uh, Circular Reason, and uh, I'm here to bring you my very first kind of video commentary slash advice slash strategy kind of thing. Uh, we're on the map Keener de Toten, or Keener de Toten. Um, and uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty high up, uh, level 43 right here, um, solo. And I uh, just kind of wanted to walk you through kind of my um, strategy of how I do this. And hopefully it'll give you some ideas if you want to go and uh, play around and do it yourself. So, yeah, let's get started with what's going on. Um, uh, basically, I, I take a, a loop strategy. Um, I'll show you a, a very specific map in a second here. Um, but there are some, some, some initial things you need to know about uh, this map. Two, two very vital things. Uh, number one is the teleporter. Number two is the thunder gun. All right, these are your basic essentials that you need to be working with uh, as you go about trying to strategize this map. Uh, the teleporter is on the stage, obviously, and the other one is in the room that you first uh, begin the mission in. Um, you want to have that charged before every round, all right? You're going to be sitting in that teleporter and, uh, and getting yourself out of there when the first hordes of zombies start coming towards you, all right? That's, that's pretty much a must for every single round. Uh, in later rounds, you will do it multiple times. As you can see here, I just initiated the link because uh, I'm going to go back in this bad boy. <clears throat> so you want to be using the teleporter uh, a lot uh, whenever you can. It gets the zombies all in one general location, spawns you back here, uh, and what that does is get the zombies kind of in a wave behind you. Uh, what I've noticed is that there's only so many zombies that will appear uh, in the map, uh, regardless of uh, what, what rank you're at. There's only so many that will come out, and once you kill one, then another one will come and take its place, and there will be however many zombies there are in that round. Um, but there will only be so many that are out with running around the map at one time. And the goal that you want in, in doing this loop strategy is you pretty much want all the zombies to be following you in a big horde behind you so that they're not cutting you off. Of course, no matter how much you try, you will be cut off by some zombies. Now, hopefully you can weave like I did just there. Uh, you want to try to save your ammunition and weave as much as possible. But for the times that you are cut off, I, I cannot stress enough the power of the thunder gun You've, and, and more, more accurately the upgraded Zeus cannon to give you more shots but see you want to try to weave around see uh, kind of lead them in one direction and, and bob and weave but there are going to be times like this was almost a time right there was almost a time I took a chance in weaving there but there are going to be times when these guys cut you and they corner you and that's when you've got to have that thunder gun you've got to have the thunder gun now let's uh, go to a map and, uh, and I'll show you a little more about the, the, the loop that I do Okay, here's the map. Here's kind of the layout. I just uh, kind of drew it up real quick. Uh, you got your stage, your theater, your main lobby, the teleporters, this and that. Um, and, uh, and then here is the route that I take. Um, I pretty much use only this side of the map. Um, some people choose to make their loops around the other side as well, going around the, the whole of the map, the whole outer uh, left side there. Uh, I don't like it uh, because there's too many narrow corridors. Uh, too many uh, thin stairwells. You can't bob and weave and, and skirt around the zombies in order to save ammunition. Uh, so I st typically stay right to this loop here. Now, on this loop, uh, there are specific spots in which I will stop and shoot at. They are as follows. Position one is in the lobby, right where you uh, come back when you teleport, shooting straight down there. Then I'll run up uh, to the right, as you can see on the map here, and come to the back uh, little corridor there, turn around, shoot them as they're coming down the hallway. Uh, go down the stairs. I typically go all the way out to the stage, wait for them to come around, shoot them when they're all on the stage. I do this because it, it allows more room for escape. Now, when we get to later levels, I'll add in some other ones. Um, because, and, and this is only if you have all the zombies behind you. Um, you got to try to make sure that in the later levels, it's a lot easier to do that because uh, when you're shooting with regular bullets, it pretty much doesn't kill them. So you're not consistently killing zombies, thus new ones are not coming out after you. Uh, but this is if you want to get uh, some major cash too. Uh, I have all these stop points in which I will stop and shoot. Uh, let me switch back over to the video feed. I'll show you a little bit of what I mean and how to get some serious cash. 
So your cash gun is definitely the MP40. Uh, this is the gun that you want to get, and you want to get it non-upgraded. Um, you can see I'm uh, stopping at the points that we talked about. Um, you want to try to bob and weave as much as you can. Again, get those zombies behind you. And uh, have double tap on. Uh, really have all your perks if you're this far along. Um, try to run with your Zeus cannon. But then you turn around and you just mash the heck out of these guys with this MP40. Now typically what's going to happen is you're not really going to kill that many people at all. Um, what you are going to do is you're going to rack up a whole lot of cash. And then in your loop, see you're going around your loop, you're reloading. And, uh, and this gun is right along the wall. So what you do then is you shoot them with all these bullets, you're racking up tons and tons of cash. I'm uh, trying to get rid of my last bullets here to get more cash. Uh, come right here to the wall, grab more ammo uh, for 500, and load them up. Uh, you get way more than 500 when you do this. And basically I got my, I went from 10,000, because uh, I needed some cash, I went from 10,000 to 60,000 just doing this uh, for a little while. And what that does, it's not just, hey, I got some cool cash. But what it does is it gives you money so you can set the traps because at this point in the game, uh, traps are pretty much the only thing they're going to kill these guys. I mean, you got the thunder gun, but the thunder gun you really want to um, have out when you're maneuvering, especially when you don't have all the zombies behind you. You want to have the thunder gun out so that if you get in a jam, it's kind of your oh crap gun. All right. So you can quickly blast them away. Uh, other than that, yeah, MP40. Come to each of the positions like you're seeing. Blast them. Look at all the cash racking up on the side there. Uh, I'm already at 50,000. Um, and then you can go and upgrade that gun uh, or and, and, and continue to shoot them to get more cash. Or you can just continue to set traps and, and take them out that way. Either way, um, it works well. Uh, let's skip forward to my final round here, uh, which is level 44. You guys can see how I um, finished up the match. Okay, so here I am, round 44. Uh, this is the highest I've been solo. And um, again, the zombies are creeping around. You want to try to bob and weave. Really save that ammunition for your thunder gun because it's areas like this, this corridor here, you can really get trapped. Also, jumping over zombies, as you saw there, is always a good idea. Uh, fun, too, really. Um, but I've killed a bunch of zombies here, and now they're all coming out in front of me. So this is where you really want to... Um, be on your guard, and again, you want to try to loop around a couple of times to get as many zombies coming behind you as possible. Here I'm linking up the teleporter. Again, uh, when you get to these levels, 44, uh, even in the upper 30s, you're probably going to teleport uh, at least twice uh, per round. I'm not sure I was doing much more than that. Um, and again, that gets you out of the way, gets you a breather, and also it collects all the zombies down in front so that when you come back, they're all pretty much behind you and that's that's exactly what you want in this so again right now i'm just trying to get them in a group behind me uh, i continue to check my angles uh, i've got decent cash i'm not too worried about that um, but something happens here i'm not sure what uh, it glitches out um, towards the end here it, 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 my camera actually was acting up a little earlier whoa with some weaving uh, my camera was acting up a little earlier when I was shooting some things. Um, obviously, this is just shot with a camera on a screen. Uh, but this is not the camera. You'll see it as I come up to this next position. Um, right about here, you'll see it. Yeah, you see that glitch? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Well, there wasn't any zombies there, and then here we go from the right. Oh, can't switch the gun enough. Oh, terrible. So, got to be careful of that, guys. Anyway, I uh, hope you found something useful in here. I hope uh, it gave you some tips and, and happy zombie hunting. All right?